welcome to Wakalama YouTube channel. Welcome to my another knitting journal. I have so many VIPs that I would like to share with you uh, that I couldn't wait another week, but wanted to record it today to show you all my work in progress. And because if I wait two weeks, then there will be <laughs> way too much stuff to show. And then episode would be uh, too long. So uh, last, uh, like this last week, I was working on some scrunchies. I got this yarn, Bernard Velvet, and in, a, um, in my previous knitting journal, I showed you how uh, I was knitting different kinds of scrunchies. And um, I wasn't completely happy with the way they would turn out, but this one, I think it's a final one. I changed the way how I, uh, started to knit it like how I was casting on and I changed number of stitches and I think this one is exactly what I was envisioning in my head so now I want to knit few pink ones and see if I like it very much and then I will uh, right away record a free tutorial for, for all of you guys who would want to knit scrunchies for your kids or friends like you know um i think it would, will make a great gift especially like you know if you have like kids they like to wear it like on their hands like sometimes a uh, few colors so it would look really really nice i'm very very pleased with the way it turned out uh, so then i have uh, finished sock that I was working on and I was uh, finishing them on my new zinc uh, 2.5 millimeter needles and um, what uh, was interesting is that zinc they have like not very sharp ends like it feels like somebody cut off part of a needle so I don't know if I really like them but I will give it a try like when I was will finish second sock and then I'll see if I like them. So, and I started a second sock. I did ribbing one by one, twisted ribbing, and now I'm working on stockinette stitch. I really enjoy uh, this colorway. It's like very, very pretty. Uh, next, uh, I, after I finished my vest, I thought, okay, now I need to cast on something that I had. Um, that I didn't finish. So I have I had found some VIPs that I didn't uh, finish for a long time. And I thought I should take one of them and put it on my needles and start knitting. So one of the VIPs was a honeycomb iron sweater by Yarn, Yarn Inspirations. It's a cable sweater, really, really beautiful, like classic cable sweater, uh, which um, it's free. Uh, pattern is for free you can find it on yarn inspiration and i'll try to uh left leave your link below this video so and i'm knitting it out of a 100 can't can't lamb's wool by fiber co and it's uh laura in colorway colorway is um laura 50 mystery shade name is mystery it's like gray and it has some purple speckles to it really nice yarn in 100 grams 250 meters very nice squishy and soft and i if you remember i knitted back and front already and front was very much smaller than back and I tried to do the same amount of repeats and then I decided that probably gauge I was knitting much tighter. So I decided to work on sleeves. So I cast on sleeves a while ago, but I got stuck on a moment where I was supposed to calculate and see, uh, not calculate, but set up pattern repeats. And uh, that's where I got stuck. So now before casting on something new, I decided to work on something that I had already and that I really want to finish because it's still very warm and nice outside, but very soon it will be cold and this sweater would be so perfect. So I started to knit sleeves and then when I put sleeves by my um, back at front, I realized that when I was knitting front, I, I did a mistake 
and um, this pattern here i made uh, those um forgot how they called um smaller and that's why like whole thing was smaller but you know in one way in a way it's good that i found out uh, about my mistake so now i will know that i need to rip back only front and re it and it's not uh, my gauge that is a problem so that made me happy and i don't know why i didn't see that before because i thought it's because of the gauge rhombus they looked smaller but no, it's because I did mistake and it's good to know. So now I will work on sleeves and when I finish sleeves, I will rip back front and I'll re it and then I can put whole thing together, do all the seams and then do a neck band and then I can wear it. Like I'll wash it and block it and I'm really, really hoping it to finish it this month. Like if, it, if I can finish this um, jumper in September, I would be so so happy because it looks so so beautiful and then i'm thinking maybe if it uh, has a nice fit maybe i'll need two more for my two oldest daughters but don't tell them and then i can gift it for christmas to them that would be so so nice like you know take christmas pictures in cable sweaters under christmas tree it will be so beautiful but we'll see we'll see so and then um my daughter who didn't want to have uh, that blue cardigan uh when i was at the store buying yarn uh for scrunchies she when she touched this yarn bernard velvet she really wanted that i would need her something soft out of this yarn but she wasn't sure should it be cardigan should it be sweater like she said something soft so we got two balls of this yarn it would be like 600 grams and I decided to knit afghan for her, but then I thought maybe it's not enough. So I went back to the store and I wanted to buy one more ball, but accidentally I bought, um, this color is actually very beautiful. It's called uh, quiet pink and I got just baby pink. So it's a little bit lighter and more pinkish because this one uh, kind of like antique rose, something like that. And I decided to start knitting afghan on my Adi knitting machine. And I like to show it to you how it looked because I didn't didn't use this machine much since I got it, and I decided to give it a try and see how machine likes the yarn and machine actually likes this yarn, doesn't skip stitches, and that's how much I did already. So and the idea is to knit two panels. I don't know how long they will be will. I was kind of thinking to knit whole ball of yarn into the pa one panel and then second ball of yarn into a second panel and then with a third ball I'm not sure maybe I should just knit another like third panel and then just knit border around it like in a broken uh, stitch one by one broken stitch or I don't know yet but uh, so now my goal is knit like this ball of yarn into a stripe and then second second stripe and then from there I'll see how big stripes are or maybe I don't even need to knit like whole ball into one stripe <laughs> so I'm not sure so I'm just looking at it as I go next thing I was showing you my afghans that I'm knitting for myself and I'll just show for those maybe who didn't see my last knitting journal so i have whole big um, container here with yarn on cone so they are different ones like here like merino wool and alpaca and just just wool and merino wool and one even um this one it's acrylic yarn with some sparkles so i decided to take this uh crazy colors and put them together in one afghan so and i'm here just making up a pattern as i go to i'm knitting on seven millimeter leaky needles and i'm trying them out i just want to see if i like them because i i didn't know should i get whole set first i should uh, buy one pair and try it out right and so far i like them very very much and here i started to do already one um braid 
so and as you can see it creates like a really nice beautiful fabric and already like some uh, uh, some fleeces sticking out like mohair and some alpaca uh, fur and it looks really really nice and i'm sure like all like as you know yarn on cone it's usually it it's waxed so after washing it blooms so i just can't imagine how beautiful it would be after washing but i'll work on this afghan maybe for a long time because i'll knit until it's all right size or one of the yarns are gone so we'll see I really enjoy that project, but I can't work on it when I have my three little kids running or crawling all over me. So I just mostly working on it like in the evenings or sometimes when I have time without kids. Okay, that's all my work in progress. I don't think I have anything else on my needles, not yet. And uh, now I would like to show you my yarn inquiries. So this baby, uh, it's Cascade Yarns Echo Highland Duo and it's 70% undyed baby alpaca and 30% undyed merino wool and it's in 100 grams uh, here we have 180 meters and recommended 5 millimeter needles and this yarn is made in Peru and it's just natural color brown and it's uh, like it's spun one strand one strand spun so it tells me that if i use this yarn and it's like super soft and squishy and i got this yarn from a value village from second hand store uh, truly to say i never saw like it's not like i always at the second hand stores but sometimes when i go there i never saw um hanks of yarn like wool actual wool nice high quality wool i never saw mostly it's acrylic yarn or stuff like that so i paid seven bucks only for this um uh, hank and i'm so happy and out of this i would like to knit myself a hat but hat i would like to knit a short one like you know just uh, that it wouldn't cover my ears it would just go like just cover the top of my head and i noticed like now taking kids to school in the mornings uh, hair usually are messy and they need to be styled with hot iron or uh, hair hair dryer and i thought the little hat might be just the right solution for me but i have no idea how it would look on me so i'm thinking to start knitting from top and then knitting down and see maybe i'll have double brim just ribbing one by one and fold it fold it or maybe it would be enough yarn just kind of to knit a short beanie hat so we'll see i almost put it on my needles but then i thought no i want to show you uh, this beautiful yarn in a hang first and then starting knitting so maybe after this knitting journal i will put on put it on my needles who knows we'll see but color is just amazing and then I had, I will do like this. <laughs> I had second purchase uh, last Saturday. Me and my friend, we went to the lake and on the way there, there is a pottery gift shop. Uh, you can go there and they have all kinds of uh, handmade cups and balls and everything. And they even had uh, balls for knitting where you put yarn and stick uh, yarn through the loop. But I was afraid that my kids will just run over it and break it. So I didn't get that one. But I really wanted a mug. So I was walking like through that shop and I was looking and looking and just wanted to see a mug that would speak to me and say, take me home. But, you know, nothing drew my attention I, until I saw this guy. When I saw this mug, it just so... I don't know i just think it's incredible it looks like a coffee with whipping cream uh, was running over it and it just uh, a bit uneven here and it just spoke like this mug it just spoke to me and i grabbed it and i bought it so this mug is locally made in manitoba and it's very local and very very beautiful i'm drinking already lots of coffee out of it and i love it like i just i just look at it and it feels like i will never get tired of this design maybe i will we'll sh we shall see and also there is was uh, there was a tent outside of gift shop there was actually two tents one tent was selling jewelry 
jewelry and some had made and some stuff made out of wood and second stand was my favorite because it was from local alpaca yarn uh, farm and it's called isla roll isla Ro fab fibers i'll try to leave a link below to the instagram page but it's locally grown alpaca in manitoba and it was actually spun in manitoba as well so it's three ply decay and 250 meters in 100 grams and colorway light brown and they had like white they had black and they had lighter like brown latte color and this brown so i grabbed this one because i just needed a um, top out of white kind of acro color alpaca and i have black alpaca beanie and i have that latte color three skeins also i'll use it for top also from local alpaca yarn but from hundred fold farm uh, so i decided to go with a brown one and i'm hoping to make out of it or neck warmer or hat we'll see but uh this brown is very close but a bit different so this one will be hat for sure and this one maybe will be in my stash for a bit because it's so nice and squishy and so beautiful and i just wanted to have um a memory from this treat from saturday and then i had package that arrived and this package is from i'll close my address it's crafts fiber that's a store online sto yarn store that i found in canada and i was looking for some kind of yarn and then uh, i checked uh, this store and i was surprised to see that it's in canadian dollars which is very important because um uh, price like canadian and us dollars they are different and i checked their clearing section i was looking particularly there for um sock yarn and i got this two um schachenmeyer regia uh, yarn a candy color they both candy color for ply and the pink this one pink green purple gray uh, all the colors and it's colorway number uh, 01 164 and this beautiful colorway is 01 166 very very beautiful so each of them were just five bucks because it was like crazy sale and then also i got card here beautiful got the fibers and then they gave me also two i'll just take it out of the bag they gifted me two uh, samples of soak it's like just soap for wool and you don't have to rinse it which is always uh, we are knitters in need of wool soap then i decided to uh, there was also sale on on knitters pride uh knitters pride needles so i this i always wanted to try them so i decided to buy three cables they were just 70 something cents each so i got three cables and then i decided to try uh, needles were also like crazy price uh, like this knitter sprite nova platina uh it's 12 millimeters i always wanted uh, to have um 12 millimeter uh, needles because the largest i have it's 10 millimeters so i got this for two bucks only and it gives me a chance to try these interchangeable needles so i got nova then i got knitter sprite royale and it's um, six millimeter needles so it's wood with um, metal tips so i will try this kind then i got knitter sprite pride ginger and it's 325 millimeters uh, even if you buy a set of wooden needles, usually they start from 3.5 millimeters. So I thought it's nice to have 325 and they're so sh short and so cute. And I think it's just perfect like with a short cable to knit like um, neck, neckline or hats. It's 
so they're just incredible i really looking forward to trying them i almost can cast on a project and i have a project in mind where i want to use these needles and i almost cast it on but then i said no i should wait and show it to you and then i got two pairs of zinc needles uh, these purple ones are seven millimeter needles uh, because I have only Liki wooden ones, seven millimeters, and I don't have any other needles that are seven millimeters. And I have project in mind cardigan for myself where I want to use seven millimeter needles. But when I got leaky, I put it right away in an afghan, so I didn't get to cast on that cardigan yet. So now I'll have a chance. And this one, 4.5 millimeter they were also like i don't remember three or two two fifty so very very cheap because they were selling out right so um i was super excited to try like oh, this whole package was not expensive and um i was so excited to try uh these different types of knitter pride needles and then like you know after using them i can see which ones i like more or which ones i don't like or maybe i don't like them at all but you know to buy one pair from each of them and uh, they're interchangeable right so then later on cable cables will fit to any other needles so that was fun you know and because it was so so cheap I almost thought that it's a scam. Like after I ordered it, then like, you know, a couple of days later, I thought, ah, like two dollars for like, or 75 cents for cables. Like maybe it's a scam. Maybe they just took my money and never will send me yarn. But no, actually it came and it's good quality and everything is good. So it was actual clearance. So I'm so, um, I was so excited about my new pur purchase that's i think that's all that i wanted to share with you today in my knitting journal so hopefully i will do some tutorial on a scrunchie and i'll put it up put it up on my channel and um, i hope you will enjoy and you will need some scrunchies for your crochet some scrunchies for your kids or friends like you know like you can use them for so many things um, that's it for today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos and please leave a comment because if you leave a comment, we can create this beautiful knitting community, especially now with all the restrictions and stuff. It's really, really precious to read comments and see likes and see that you're liking these videos. That's it for today. Bye.